another episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listings. I am your host, Fluff, and you know what? It's going to be a pretty good one today. And by good, I mean ridiculous. Real bad. Real bad. Real bad. <sighs> All right. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Fender Classic Series 50s Esquire 2007 Parts Caster Stratocaster Neck. Fair condition, 900 bucks. What happened to it? What, what were you doing? I, lo I love how, <laughs> I love how the pickup selector has a Stratocaster nubbin on it. What, what did you do? What is, wait, hang on. Uh, used Fender Esquire parts caster. The body's from a 2007 Fender Classic Series Esquire. I am the original owner. Amateur relic job is rough. It's rough. Rough. I love how he spells rough. Very cool looking, but not a realistic relic as it's a polyester finish. That's what's not realistic about it. Right, 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 right. Neck plate is also from the same strat and says Fender Custom Shop Design. It's not a custom shop. It's a design. Pick guard was changed to aftermarket three ply mint green as the original white one ply started bending around the cutaway, so I replaced it. There's some significant fret wear, most notably under the high E, B, and G strings, but currently is not affecting the playability. Plays well with no fret out or buzzing. Please note setups are sometimes required after shipping. Dude, this, oh, okay. If anyone is watching this, and I hope someone is watching this, do not relic your guitar yourself. I understand, I understand wanting something that looks that gets very played. I, I get the want of the aesthetic, but don't do it yourself. How, this guitar now looks like it was straight up abused. Like who's who's bringing their, their telly to a gig and been like, oops, I dropped a brick on it. No one. Where does not happen? Those are hammer marks. These are hammer marks and like hot, like the handle of a screwdriver. Ting, 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 ting. No one plays like that. And then it has like a totally fine neck with significant fret wear apparently. Oh, there's some divots in those things. Oh, wow. This thing has been ridden hard and put away wet. I just, that's so bad looking. Big old chip off of the... That's not how wear happens when you naturally play the guitar. Let's just, let's just bang into the right below the neck plate. Let's just bang into that. Oh, that's so bad. God, it's just, what is he doing? Just throwing it around outside? Just, let's go play catch with this telly body. Those frets are gone, bro. That sucks. This guitar sucks. 900 bucks, that's $800 too much. That's, mm, what a waste of a good telly. Sorry, telly. Very rare Gibson Custom Shop Penthouse Pet of the Year. Should I, I don't know if I'm old enough to look at this listing. Oh, okay. So it's not like that stripper Kramer from the last episode or from a couple episodes ago. What an 80s looking guitar. I mean, I don't know if I hate it or love it. It kind of reminds me of like the Jerry Cantrell blue dress, you know, with the chick on it or whatever, but like, at least it's not silhouettes of chicks on stripper poles. It's ornate. Like I don't, I don't totally hate it. That is pretty ridiculous though. Penthouse. Hey guys, I'm just gonna uh I'm just gonna grab my guitar. Imagine showing up to an audition and be like, yeah, I'm just gonna get my uh I got I brought a I brought a really cool S Paul and you're getting it out and it just says penthouse. <laughs> Imagine showing up to church service with this guitar. <laughs> Praise our Lord. Just in you. What? 
Wait, you have the penthouse guitar at church service? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what the description says. Lovey's Guitars is, is excited to offer up this rare 1992 Gibson Custom Shop Penthouse Pet of the Year. Oh, it's 92. Uh, of the Year Les Paul with inlays and bling. Penthouse is a men's magazine founded by... Yeah, thanks. I, I know what Penthouse is. Th thanks, guys. Brandy Lee Ledford is an American actress model, 1992 pet of the year, made by Greg Rich of the early 90s Gibson Custom Shop, which is cool. Promotional guitar commissioned by Penthouse and a magazine giveaway for 1992. That's pretty cool. Um, this giveaway only happened in 92, 93, and one made in 1993 sold for $16,000. Well, lived most of its life in the case. It's a cool guitar. I will say fifteen grand is a lot, even for something like this. I think if it was anything other than a men's nudie magazine, it, it may command potentially more. Like if this was like a, a sanctioned Marvel Comics Les Paul from whatever, you're like, I don't know. But it's penthouse. It's a little adult. It's a cool guitar. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's totally ridiculous and awesome. The work is phenomenal. Oh, it looks like they got her to autograph it. It's cool. <laughs> Why does little Timmy keep stealing the uh, Les Paul? Anyway, never mind. Yeah, moving on. Fender Stu Ham Urge Bass, 1993 Black Modified Five String Electric Bass Duncan Pickups, Fair Condition, $725. This was an American bass, was it not? What? Oh. Look, look at the headstock. What? Oh, oh, no. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. This was a... Okay, so these large holes were not made. This is where the original tuners were. This was a four string bass. This is from the nineties, but they made it into a five string. What is it with people converting? I, oh man, I don't get it. Just go buy a five string bass. Oh no, this was a Mexican made bass. Okay, well, dude. That seems like a, like it's pretty cramped for a five string, no? That looks so shot. I don't know, man. The tuner's crooked. All these tuners are crooked. Yeah, you got some sprozzles on it. Look at those strings. The strings look like they haven't been changed in years. It's kind of beat up. Okay, so 725 bucks, whatever. That's a ridiculous base. This was made in 93. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Belt rash. I mean, dude, what is it with... Oh. No. You poor thing. That's horrible. Who would buy this? I mean, this guy bought this like this. He states in the... Uh... Oh, boy. Nope. So I'm going to hit this one out of the park. I'm going to call it. This one's going over here. Time for some baseball. Ooh. Gwen Stefani signed guitar, autographed guitar, Stratocaster style, glitter pink, electric guitar, as pictured, genuine signature with COA. Who wants a Gwen Stefani guitar? Okay, someone got her to sign a pick guard. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. This is like a $3 guitar. Dude, this is, I'm pretty sure this is literally one of the guitars. It's like a beginner student guitar, or it's the kind that you win at the, like the, the fair. Like you get the ring rings on the bottles and you win one of those guitars that's hanging up. that's made out of plywood. I think this is one of those guitars. And it's signed by Gwen Stefani. 
Okay. Well, uh, I don't think anyone in the guitar world's like, I just wish I had a guitar autograph by Gwen Stefani. I just can't find, oh, here's one. No one's doing that. 771 bucks. Get out of here. Real Gwen Stefani autograph Stratocaster style six string electric guitar sound by Gwen Stefani of rock band, no doubt. Guitars glitter pink in color and initially purchased well over 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, isn't much to say about this guitar other than uh, that's a massive ripoff and I wouldn't, uh, yeah. I bet it smells like bad perfume and hair bleach or something. I don't know. $771 though? No. Moving on. General Vintage Tone, Scratch Plate Pickguard, True Nitrate Celluloid for Esquire Tele, blah, 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 1959 White 3 Ply Nitro. Is this a vintage guard? I don't think it is. Is this a repro and it's supposed to look vintage? I think it's supposed to look vintage. GVT True Vintage Guard for Esquire and Tele made with real. Okay, so this is a new pick guard made out of old material and they've route. It's like made for to go on early 60s Esquire Fender. Eight hole. Okay. $423 plus $34 shipping. But. It's three dollars and fifty nine cents shipping when uh, combined with other stuff. I don't understand. Like, why? Why is this so much money? Is, I mean, it's made out of old material. I'm assuming. I don't get it. This is so dumb. Oh, it's in Spain. So, like, maybe there's some kind of a conversion thing going on. I don't know. I can't make heads or tails of this. This is pretty ridiculous though. For $423, a Tele pick guard that's been weathered and beat up and colored. I mean, I'll do that for, for 50 bucks. Give me your guard. I'll make it look real weathered in about 10 minutes. Moving on. 2019 Ibanez Eldorado Arancia Paza Machina. Luthier custom one of a kind. Oh, this guitar looks like it's loved an unclean guitar. <laughs> it looks like it has like a real nasty guitar STD or something. That doesn't look, that doesn't look pleasing. What, what in the hell? Eldorado special on the back of the neck. Hate that. Oh, I hate that. It started life as an Ibanez Tallman, it looks like, which is cool. Mmm, what in, what is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like crinkled car fender? The color reminds me of like a car color, like a Corvette or something. I don't, that, that why is the strap button right there? That, okay, that, no, right away, I'm out. I don't know what, what this is. Uh, purchased in April 2021 from Miami Vintage Guitars. The Ibanez El Dorado Special is a one of a kind Machina Edition series guitar from Miami Vintage Guitars. This is not a stock Ibanez guitar that was built in a factory. It is a luthier built guitar from a co collaboration between Italian designer and craftsman. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't, I have a hard time believing a, a luthier is gonna be like, I'm gonna build a guitar from scratch. And what I'm gonna model this build after is a $500 Ibanez. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. No, no, he, that absolutely did not happen. He started with an Ibanez Tallman body and modified it. Because that neck is an import neck. That's the standard. It's just a heavily modified guitar. And they want a thousand bucks for it. 
Okay. Thinning out the herd, make an offer. Selling ads subscribe, no returns, rebates, or refunds. I always hate it when they say that as well. Um, 2019 Ibanez, yeah. So like, there's a better chance of the, the moon crashing into the earth than me ever buying a guitar like this. Moving on. Boss VB2W serial number 28, $1,173, what? Yes. You read it correctly. First batch used for demos for dealers and trade shows. This is serial number 28. If you're a boss collector, you want this. Mint and box included. Taking photos taken with a potato cam. Um, so this is a current production, Wazacraft Vibrato from Boss. And this dude wants $1,100 for it. Although I can go buy a brand new one for $229 right here, right here. Explain that to me. Uh, this dude is high. Halifax, Canada. Yo, Halifax, Canada has the dankest stickiest of the icky weed or something i don't know uh but this dude is high uh delusional and possibly drunk but whatever he's got i want some you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm saying anyway i'm gonna get out the arrows the fu arrows Thank you Thank you and last but not least we have a casio eg5 cassette player Bizarre guitar made in Japan, 1980s for 600 bucks. Oh my Lord, is that a Walkman built into a guitar? I literally want this guitar. Oh my God, it's a Casio guitar. This thing was probably like two grand back in the day. Real talk. Whoa. Okay, so this is ba <laughs> battery power. Look at all those screw holes. This is a battery power guitar. This is so you could play along to your favorite tapes by putting the tape into the guitar and then playing along and having your friends jam along with you. Pretty cool, right? Very ahead of its time. You could also pipe it into an amplifier like normal. Headphones, and then you had a stereo in if you wanted to use an, another external device. What? That is so horrible and cool at the same time. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is amazing. I can't even believe. And for 600 bucks, the price is not ridiculous. This guitar is 100% ridiculous though. This one is a nice condition. I, yeah, I'm surprised it has the battery door and all that stuff. That is so cool. Okay, well, I'm sold. I'm gonna go ahead and go and buy this. And uh, yeah, I guess with that, I'm gonna get out of here. If you would have your own reverb listing that you would like uh, to see on the show, feel free to send a link via an email, link down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Fluff out. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you wanna further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, Buy yourself something and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.